So some of you wanted to see a more in-depth explanation and maybe just a simple wiring diagram of the projector lift project. So that's what this video is going to be about. This relay here is a lot like the type that I have. I'm just showing a picture of it so you can confirm. There's uh, three pairs of main power terminals and two coil terminals. It's neatly labeled here. Uh, this is a web page from learningaboutelectronics.com. If you just Google that and how to connect a double pull, double throw relay, you should find it. So this is a graphic diagram that I made for the circuit. It shows my power supply, the three and a half millimeter jack, and the actuator. The actuator is the simplest wire since there's only two wires. They connect to the common of the relay and it should be the bottom two terminals of the horizontally oriented uh, terminals here. I made sure to connect it to these push-on style connectors before connecting it to the relay. For my relay, I used the red size terminals. The power supply, I had to cut off the laptop plug, then splice each of the two wires into two more wires, and then I connected them in this configuration here. For my lift, I wanted the actuator to be retracted when there was no power going through the coil. So I just connected the wires and say this configuration, plugged it in, and if the actuator didn't extend, I knew that I had them configured correctly. For the three and a half millimeter jack, um, that's a little bit more complicated. The first thing that I did was I carefully stripped the jacket off the cable and I believe that there were three wires and those three wires corresponded to these three sectors on the plug. According to my projector manual, I knew that this sector for this up on the plug was supposed to be the ground wire. So I took my multimeter and using the continuity function probed the probe this sector and then probed each of the three wires until I got the continuity signal. Then I marked the ground with a piece of tape. Uh, my next task was to figure out which of the sectors was hot or the trigger. So to do that, I just plugged this into my projector, uh, powered the unit on, and holding one probe to the ground that I had marked earlier, I probed the two remaining wires. Um, and you want to set your multimeter to a low current DC setting in order to do that. Once I knew what the uh, hot uh, 12 volt signal was coming from, I labeled that and cut off the third extraneous cable. That's it for the wiring explanation video. Good luck to everybody with your projects and thanks for watching.